Hey guys, Big Diddy Hoffman 1911 coming to you today. Guys, I know I've been out of the picture for a while, but it's been pretty hot here in North Carolina. Uh, we're getting to fall now, so, you know, I'm coming out of the, uh, the woodwork, so to speak. And also, another reason um, is that uh, I inherited a million dollars. Well, I didn't inherit a million dollars. Donald Trump sent me a million dollar bill. How about that? <laughs> and it's even certified. So I don't know if I'll be doing any videos from this. I'm going to take it to the bank uh, this afternoon and sit there cash it for me. <laughs> no, I'm just joking about that, guys. But uh, I have missed you guys, and I look forward to some good video and range time this fall. All right, guys, I've been playing with some silver also. Let me sit down here and show you what I got here. A nice little collector piece. I only made 888 of them. And that's an eight ounce round. It's pretty cool. And I got a little derringer right here as well. Nice little sil silver derringer. I like messing around with a little silver there. Got some cool pieces. Uh, Is that your finger? <laughs> yeah, that's my laughter. My no, this is my finger right here. I got huge hands, huge. Look at that. How many ounces is that? Four and a half. One and a half. Four point five. Yeah, and uh, who doesn't like Coke, guys? That's pretty cool. Here's a closer look at that million dollar bill. Yeah, yeah. This is this is gold, huh? Yeah, it's uh. Yeah, 24 karat gold plated, I think. It's got to be worth a million dollars. It's got to be, man. It's got to be. And this one, this little derringer right here is 4.4 4 ounces of 999 silver. Now, if that was gold, I'd feel better, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. But it's still cool, though. I don't know if any of you guys mess for silver. Um, put it in the description below. Let me know what you collect. You know, I... I've got all kind of silver. I like the, the odd stuff, though, the poured stuff. Well, let us know if that's something you're interested in seeing some videos on. Yeah. Because you got some cool pieces. Just like you got some really cool, weird firearms, you know? You yep. got some, I mean, I don't know anybody who's got a silver finger, and you have four of them or three of them. I know. I need a whole hand yeah, of them. Yeah. Do you have a silver thumb somewhere? Yeah. I mean, you know, you could get all your body parts. And <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be good to put a video out no. on, would it? <laughs> no. That was funny. I don't care who you are. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, we're talking about weird firearms. What's what's over here? Look at this, guys. An old Colt box. How about that? Nice. It's it's cool. It's a yeah. box, huh? Yeah, just a box. And. The original box, and there she is in all its glory. All right, I'm going to take the camera now and uh, let Jason tell you something about it, all right? Here we go. So we were at a gun show a couple weeks ago, and uh, Big Daddy saw this Colt box sitting there, and his eyes lit up, you know. He needed to see what was inside of it, and uh, some guy had this uh, on consignment, and uh, neither one of us had seen one before. It's a pretty rare Colt. Um, it is considered to be Colt's biggest. Uh, when you read, I'll, I'll leave a link to the to the Wikipedia article and some, a couple other articles on it. It's uh, apparently Colt's the biggest failure. So, That's nice. It is nice. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, it is the uh, Colt All American. It was designed in 1992 uh, by uh, Eugene Stoner, who uh, we all know who Eugene Stoner is. Uh, it, it was uh, it was designed for law enforcement, and therefore, uh, so when all the law enforcement agencies were switching over to these, you know, double stack nine millimeters, uh, Colt was going to get in the game. So it is two, fifteen round comes with two fifteen round magazines. Look at the little Colt uh, uh, icons. It was only built. It was only made from uh, nineteen ninety two to uh, nineteen ninety four, and they only made two thousand of. Uh, I'm sorry. They only made. It is the model two thousand. They only made twenty thousand of them. So it is extremely rare. Uh, and this is the even more rare version. They made a whole poly They made a polymer version as well. I think there are more numbers of the polymer version. Uh, uh, this one it does have removable grips uh, this one has not been shot but I think we are gonna shoot it, it yes it's, that's the rumor yes that's the rumor I'm gonna shoot that one 
Okay, it's got a uh, really cool design. Uh, I think it's a locking breech and a uh, rotating bolt. So that barrel, theoretically, uh, should be fairly accurate. Uh, but the thing about this particular firearm is this it was originally designed with a six pound trigger but it was the final production was up to 12 pounds yeah so this has got probably the longest trigger it's heavy it's heavy it's heavy <laughs> is it you're like wow this is cool and then uh it's still really really cool it's just got a really heavy trigger it's got nice three dot sights on it um it, i can take it apart real quick for you guys i know big daddy loves it when i do that but it's pretty simple. I'm going to see that rotating bolt. Yeah. Look at that. Uh-huh. Very nice. I think it was ahead of its time, perhaps. Has this had, I wonder if this one's been shot. Oh, this is how you do this. little here. Right? Look at that. Bang. This is some first-time footage right here, guys. Does it look like it's been shot? It doesn't. It looks like it's got yeah, some factory grease and some grime in there, but it does not look like it's been shot. So we take the barrel, stick it back in the slide, lock it in place. Actually, let me pull this out a little bit. There we go. Lock in place. That's not too bad. No. Not bad at all. It's a it's different. Yeah. It comes with two magazines, a loader, the original brush, clean bore. Mm -hmm. Look at this pristine uh, manual. Yeah, the box and everything, yeah. Yeah. I haven't done any research on how much they're worth. It smells like an old person's house. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just messing. You're a hater. Hater. Yeah, so it's super cool. Here, here's some uh, here's some markings on it. Colt Manufacturing, Hartford, Connecticut. A patent pending. Mm -hmm. You got the serial number on there. Okay, guys. Back in action here. You got to see a little gun porn. Uh, keep me posted if you want to see some silver videos and we'll post a few of those do have some really good collector pieces on that uh, some nice looking uh, revolvers and desert eagle pistols and stuff like that skulls and crazy stuff uh, along with the normal stuff too uh, Jason and I are fooling around with it a little bit and uh, we'll do some research on this one and let you know a little bit more I'm sure I'm going to enjoy that 12-pound trigger pull, right, Jason? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. Keep up to fight against gun control. Join me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, 430. And what else, Jason? Get out and vote. Vote. You see what's happening on the news right now. And we definitely need to vote this November. And uh, for this is really nasty, nasty as I've seen politics yet. So, anyway, enough about that, guys. Remember, as always, Big Daddy loves you. Hoorah! Take care.